welcome back to Resident Evil The Village. When we last left off, we found Mia. She was not dead. And we're basically exterminated most of the village with Chris, including using later guided rockets, which he had somehow procured for himself. Uh, the BSAA turned up and got exterminated. And now we're waking up as Ethan. You know, we've had our heart ripped out. Okay. So is Ethan more powerful? How did I get here? God, freeze. So shit. How are you here? You're dead. Dead? I mean, Miranda. She. No. I still have to save Rose. Rose? <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What? what are you saying? I can still... See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember? No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! <laughs> what, what am I? I... I... Did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I. So, I mean, that does explain why you can take so much damage. He awakes. Oh, where am I? My carriage. You 
were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. So, I gotta go. Get Rose back from Miranda. So, I mean, I'm guessing uh, that Ethan uh, he definitely has the virus. He has the mold virus. I'm guessing that. Uh, I'm guessing that. valuable right yeah I'm guessing that he also um, has regenerative powers then I suppose but I mean obviously he has an assemblage of life and machine I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it yeah so I'm guessing um, he has regenerative powers then maybe he can't regenerate like missing body parts uh, which we kind of well, I can say we know but I guess its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? Makes sense. Um, yeah, I guess that that's how they're getting around that. Skirting around that. Uh, a long barrel for the... Ooh, hello. Very nice. I mean, it makes sense in a Resident Evil kind of fashion. So... Yes. So is he going to get, like, I guess some kind of healing ability? Kind of... Well, I wouldn't say like... Um, oh, I can't think of her name now. From Resident Evil 6. Sherry. Is it that kind of thing? Now, do I want to buy that? I don't think so. I don't think I want to buy that. Because of all this commotion, I've lost an entire territory to transact in. Oh. He, so he, this isn't his only territory that he transacts in. Interesting. Rate of fire could definitely do with upgrading. Power's probably not a bad shout. We only have a limited amount of cash to go with, though. And I think think we're going to go for the handgun. Delighted to. Because when I play this new game again, we're going to be starting with a handgun. Well, we're going to be starting Delighted. with all of these, I suppose. But the handgun is what you want to power up. That's quite powerful. 275. It's a lot better than the oh, standard no. weapon. I'm a merchant, after all. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the cash for anything else. Okay. Please be well. Thanks. So we have no idea what he is, but he's pretty cool. Be nice to see the Duke again. Look at this weapon now. We've got a lot of bullets. Yeah, we're we're pretty good actually. So we are invincible. Well, not invincible invincible, but we're pretty tough.
and we do we going this way I guess we are we can't run this is a wicked weapon how big ah it's still missing an upgrade slot yeah we literally have no time for you dude Yeah, we have no time for you. We're here for the prize. It's just vomiting these guys out. So, I guess Evelyn is still inside us because we are part mold. Which we know. You know, we're not stupid. You know, what's interesting is like with Resident Evil 7... It never had the cool replayability that this game did. You know, having the merchant, the weapon upgrades, stuff like that. Gives you so much more replayability to the game. Uh... Oh, this is creepy. What? <laughs> My power is leaving me. Rose. <laughs> hey, bitch. Miranda. That is not the gun we have. Interesting. Your body certainly is normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every... Get oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. Oh, man. Oh, I don't think so. What the fuck? Oh, you got any more of them uh, missiles left, Chris? You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamycete. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, well, we're going to end you, so I won't get too excited. How about what? Is that all you got? That's more like it. Because we don't give up. That's not in our vocabulary, I'm afraid. We're here to kick an ass or two. <laughs> Please, Mr. Winters, stop struggling. Yeah, don't worry. Let me just lay landmines everywhere. Oh, hello. Are you spraying lava everywhere? Yes, I do. Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn not yours? Oh god, it's like sang out of doom. Your time is up. Now die. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, here she comes. Out. Definitely want a quicker reload on this gun when we uh, come around again. Ow, that hurt. That really hurt. Right, let's pack something with a little more damage. Actually, if we're at the end of the game... Uh huh. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. Yeah, gonna have to agree with Ethan there. You seem pretty batshit to me. Die, be swallowed into the Megamycete for all time. 
Now I'm pretty sure Krishna's buddies are gonna end that. Especially if this is the original. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. If this is the original incarnation of it. Um. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's now cheating. I think it's time you left in my hands. Excuse me. Excuse me. The hell I will. That's cheating. Oh, I think I just hit her right in the chest. <laughs> we don't have any more health, do we? Uh, yeah, we do. We've Die. got one more. That's it. That's all she wrote. You're kind of being a bitch <laughs> with your cheaty black screen. I'm just saying. Do you now? Oh, God. Here we go. This is not the end for me. Oh, God. Yeah, but you can't go stealing other people's children, okay? It didn't work out. Oh. Well, I don't know what I am exactly. Oh god. Can we destroy those... Ow. Can we destroy those big orbs? I'm not sure. I don't know what Ethan is. But he seems to be having fun killing you. Now she does seem to drop gear when she dies. Or at least when you fuck her up. Right. This is a nice little time to reload. Now, actually, we might as well blast off the last of our rounds. Oh, God. Move. You're not very good at moving, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah, I think Ethan's right, but we're dead. But as we know... Death is only a temporary state for Ethan. Okay. Right, let's have one more go at this. Skip. Yeah. Let's bring out the big guns. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with truth. Yeah. So Ow, that hurts. Ooh, right in the face. Don't worry, Ethan. We've got it. We've got it, Ethan. Okay, we're moving the dialogue on quite a bit quicker. Uh huh. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Yeah, she's pretty batshit. But that's okay, because we have a Magnum. <laughs> really don't get hit by that. Oh, great Mega Mice. Hear my prayer. Oh, nothing's hearing your prayer, my dear. You're just gonna. Be hit with round after heavy round of my rifle. Until you drop dead. That's the deal. Oh god, now we've got the yeah, smoke screen that she does. This is a bit of a dick move, if you ask me. Now, Mr. Winters, oh god. I think it's time you left in my house. Yeah. Yeah, not gonna happen. Hey, we didn't get a new rifle. I will take back my daughter. Uh-huh. Yeah, could you turn the lights back on, please? Please? Ow, God, that hurt. That really hurt. You're a cheating bitch. You really don't, though. Yeah, your kid died. Your kid died fair and square. You took mine. 
Do you see how that's bullshit and unfair? See, if your kid was taken by someone, you are fully within your right to take revenge on that someone. But you can't go after somebody that had literally nothing to do with the whole situation. Ow! We're not exactly that close to death. Ow, that hurt. Unfortunately, this is the best thing we have. Don't call me a wretch. It's pretty rude. Rude. Very rude. What do you think of these shotgun shells? Do you like them? Ow. Ah, man. She takes a pounding, I'll give you that. Oh, she's definitely not looking so good, though. Now, if we could get some of that special ammo that we had in the seventh game that was good at taking out the mold creatures, I think we would be doing a lot better. I also really like this shotgun. Nah, I think, again, Ethan's ticking all the boxes. You're just a psycho bitch. You're too far gone. There's only one way for you, Miranda, and that's to calcify. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is going to get bad. Um. <laughs> she says as she dies halfway through talking. Oh, nice. Right in the face. Oh, she's got an eye in her forehead. I see that. God, there ain't a lot left of that. Well, now you can go see her. You can be one with your daughter, bitch. So that's another mold colony destroyed. Really? She's just she's just there. She's literally just there. Happy as can be. Uh oh. We're calcifying too. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan, we gotta move. Um, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, that thing is... Yeah. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. Can you tell 
yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Yeah, might want to get a wiggle on there, Chris. <laughs> Look at that bomb. Oh man, look at that thing. Moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Whoa. That's the area fragged. I told you to sit down. Where is he? Chris, what have you done? He's gone. I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bio weapon. The hell were they thinking? What? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. So BSAA is now on. Umbrella and Umbrella is now the BSAA role reversal. What? And she looked pretty good to be fair for someone that's been locked away for a while. Um, right. Okay. So, all this time, Ethan was a mold monster. That makes sense. But... How come... I mean, okay, so Mia was obviously a mold monster as well, but she got cured. Um, is it Evelyn? I mean, Evelyn's obviously still inside Ethan somewhere. Because... You know, that's how it works. So is she looking out for him? Kind of, but that doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, he, uh, Maya got cured, whereas Ethan didn't. But for him to remain so under control for so long... In fact, he didn't really suffer any negative effects... Apart from being very durable. It's kind of interesting though. I, I kind of, you know, like it. I never would have thought that Ethan would die. 
and Mia would live. That's pretty interesting. But, you know, I'm, I like what they did with Chris. There's still a fuck ton of answers that need... Or questions that need to be answered. Like, what the hell Chris is doing? And it looks like BSAA has gone rogue and are now using bioweapons. But... They're not normal bioweapons. It looks like they've stabilized them. This is awesome, by the way. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, it looks like they've actually stabilized the bioweapons. Because they look like regular, well-armed soldiers. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hmm. Um, okay. I mean, that was wicked. I actually really, really enjoyed that. It was so, so much better than Seven. Like, you can't compare the two. Um, yeah, that was everything I wanted in a Resident Evil game. You know, I would have liked to have seen um, Hunters and Lickers and Zombies and, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know, we're, we're moving on. And to be honest, like what Capcom's doing at the moment, where they're scratching all itches, so to speak, uh, you're getting this first person stuff. You're getting the third person remakes, which uh, are a mixed bag. I mean, Resident Evil 2 make was really good. I enjoyed it. Cut some corners uh, when it came to the... Um, scenarios but you know it was it was pretty fucking top tier resident evil 3 make was well yeah i mean they kind of took some serious liberties with that one with cutting content and whatnot and just changing it but what they did was good and i enjoyed it and they did add in some nice um replay value to that one by adding uh, unlockable weapons and whatnot and a shop where you can earn money and buy items um, which I really, really like. And I like where Resident Evil has gone. We appear to be out of those dark, um, dark period of Resident Evil, which I would say was Resident Evil 5 and 6. Now, here's the thing, right? They're not... They're not... Like, Resident Evil 5 is a really fun game to play as uh, a co-op game. You know, I've had a lot of fun with Resident Evil 5 over the years, and it's not the worst thing ever in the world. But it's not really Resident Evil. Resident Evil 6 is a collection of experiments. Uh, they tried to just do too much. You had like a pretty cool combat system in the game. <laughs> Quite an in-depth um, melee uh, system in the game, which was interesting. But they just packed in so much stuff and it just it didn't have any exploration in it. There was no weapon upgrades to get. A lot of the story was hidden behind collectibles, which is never a, a, a smart move. And, you know, instead of giving us five different campaigns with, like, or was it four different campaigns with eight or ten characters, 
um, they sh we should have just had like maybe one or two campaign scenarios that were really fleshed out and really interesting. And the C virus wasn't that interesting, much like the mold wasn't that interesting in Resident Evil 7, but this really builds on that. And Ethan as well wasn't a very interesting character, but then when you look at Resident Evil 6, you know, you had Jake. Oh, good God, Jake. Yeah. And then Pierce as well. Pierce Nivens was a, a character I really didn't like. But you had some really cool stuff in 6 as well. Like what they did with Sherry with her regen powers and stuff. Um, because she was, you know, infected with the G-Virus and then cured. But she retained the, the healing factor from the G-Virus. That was cool. We've got these really cool characters in Resident Evil. But they keep giving us new characters. And I say this in every single new game that they bring out. Fucking stop giving us new characters. We have so many. Sheva, right? Annoying. She was a horrible part of Resident Evil 5 from a gameplay standpoint. But she was a really interesting and cool character. I'd like to see her come back. Uh, you had... Who else have we we not seen in ages? Like Rebecca, we haven't seen. Billy, we haven't seen. Um, you know, Ada. What's going on with Ada? Let's see some more stuff with uh, Hunk. Uh, but no, we get we seem to get these. I mean, Ethan. Okay, he's the newest character. He was pretty mediocre, to be honest. Was not really a fan of Ethan. He was better in this game. He was. Um, they really did build up on the the nothing <laughs> that he was in the f in in the seventh one. But he still wasn't a deep character. I like the way he's been killed off. With the fact that he's been killed off, hopefully we can move on to someone else. And where's Jill throughout all of this as well? I know we've recently got three make, but that doesn't really count. Um, you know, and same with Claire. Bring Leon back for a new game. Where's Barry? Barry's off saving children. Now, do we get a rank? I wonder. Ah. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? No, if he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is able to touch it. So that's Rose, huh? Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Oof. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. Just a kid.
Hmm. Ooh. I'd like to see more of Rose. Maybe she should get her own game. Remember when I said about playing as a powerful bioweapon? That I guess maybe is a good bioweapon? Uh, yeah. The father's story is now done. So it took 12 and a half hours. Great dad. Best dad ever. So, following has been added to the bonuses menu. Extra content sh extra content shop. Okay. Complete challenges listed in the challenge menu in order to receive completion points. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you see, this is what they did with Resident Evil 3. CP can be exchanged for a variety of bonuses in the extra content shop. New game mode. Ah, uh, you have to buy new game mode? Weapons, concept art, figures, etc. The following movies have been added. You can now get the following weapon from the extra content shop. WCX. Right. So challenges are achievements, right? So that's all the stuff we did get. When you load the completed data, some things will carry over from your completed game. Okay. Well, let's have that right at the top then. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to go straight back in. I won't record that, obviously. Uh, maybe when we clear some time, we'll do a powered up run of this game. Like we did with Resident Evil um, 7. That was fun. I enjoyed that. So, Resident Evil Village. Um, Capcom, you're doing a great job. Doing an absolutely fantastic job. Um, more of this, please. I want to see where Rose is going to go. Imagine playing a game as her. And Chris is still around as well. I mean, that was obviously, what, I don't know, 15 years into the future or something. So, I guess not much has happened within those 15 years. Interesting. Be interesting to have a bit of a futuristic Resident Evil, wouldn't it? See what's happening with Mia? So Ethan dies, though. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen that coming. Interesting. I, I'm i not even mad about that. Usually if a main character dies, I'm really salty and pissed off about it. Like, oh, man. Oh, but actually, I didn't really care too much about Ethan. Um, hmm. I like this direction that Resident Evil is going in. I want to see all of the Resident Evil games have purchasable items and stuff and upgrades and shit. I, I, this is, you know, the formula for Resident Evil 4 was just, they really modernized Resident Evil and it was perfect. Modernize the way the game controls, sure. Change up the viewpoint, sure. But that and that exploration, the earning of money, the buying and selling weapons, that inventory system, it was perfect. And now they've transferred that into another game that's totally different. But they've kept those core fundamental things. Finally, it's brilliant. It works. It's fantastic. The crafting system, I like it. It's not very intrusive. It's very basic, and that's okay. Um, yeah. I, I've loved every minute of this game. I really did. And now I can jump back into the Discord without worrying. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. When we come back, we're probably going to be doing a different game. We will do a powered up run of this at some point. Um, I do have holiday coming up for my birthday, which is in about six weeks at the time of this recording. This recording is going to be <laughs> this could probably... <laughs> You know, at least three weeks away from going up. But, um, hmm. Yes. Yes, I liked that. Capcom, Capcom, more of this, please. Like, a lot more of this, please. Thanks. Right, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching it. And as always, 
Till next time.